Hello guys, welcome to this quick tip from Solid Motion VFX on uh, how to get some free VDBs, um, which is a file format for like uh, cinematic cinemat uh, uh, volumetric effects like fog, smoke, f fluids. So uh, in this uh, in this short quick tip, I want to show you how we can export VDBs from Embergen, which is a real-time volumetric fluid simulation program, and uh, it has really come a long way. Uh, regarding both its updates but also regarding its realism I mean for each version it's just getting better and better and it's still in, in beta so I definitely see this like eight months ago that uh, until now that is getting really uh, almost like Houdini style so uh, in terms of uh, the, re the resolution and the realism are getting much more clear and much more better so and this is real time so this is definitely something worth us checking out so uh, just look at these real-time interactions here inside the software so I will leave a link in the description below get in there and get your free trial and start messing around with Embergen so for this one I'm not gonna show you how to use Embergen I'm just gonna show you how to actually get the get your exports out from there right so here we are inside Embergen and uh, basically you have your no graph up here and uh, the power here is of course when you go into the open project you have tons of uh, different presets in here which are ready for use so uh, and this is real time and these notes here like they are almost self-explanatory but if you are used to dealing with notes in Houdini or with uh, Blender you, you should be able to actually follow along really good here they're pretty self-explanatory you have your emitter you have your simulation you have some colors here uh, you have some force just click on this force then if you move around with this direction you can see it actually real time Look at the fire, it follows along with the force, right? So real time it will actually update in there. Same goes with the colors. You can go in and change some colors in here if you want. Let's add in more red and accept. And see that? Go back to the force. Let's get it up. Up here. So this is real time. Look how it's following the force right now. So a lot of cool presets in here to play with. Uh, there's also this space gate. Look at this. Again, real time, folks. Let's uh, change the color maybe to some green on this one. And on the black here, let's get it some reddish. And let's do like this. Just mix around the colors. Look at that. It's just amazing. This is real time. And you can definitely this is looks much better than the mental flow inside of uh, inside blender so i would definitely use this uh, to begin with play around with this also so get more familiar with the vdbs in general so basically how you do it is uh, you'll uh, grab your simulation node up in your node graph which is this one here and then we'll just lift click and hold from the square and just drag out a noodle release your mouse and choose export vdb when you have that up then your file here, you do your path, just uh, save where you want to save it out to, and uh, enter your frame numbers, and then just hit the, hit the export button. Then you'll get a, a VDB files out. Okay? So inside of Blender, make sure you have a the I have just a sunlight set up here. Hit Shift A to add a volume. Import Open VDB. Then navigate over to the file, hit A to select them all, and import them. And there you have it. There you have VDB file from Embergen. Okay. And let's uh, actually go over to the look dev. Sorry, the cycles render. And open up in the outliner. The image in gasoline, click on that, the volume, and then go down to your object data product for that. Then you can see the different channels we have. So the cool thing is here how you actually shade it. It's so easy. So you're going to use these channels, but click on it and then just click new. It should open up a principal volume shader. And in here, the density is only one. So if you want it to be light, you keep it low number. If you want it to be really dense, then you bump up this volume here. So I gave it 25. And uh, black body intention, intensity, let's give it a 10. And the temperature, 
2000 but uh, you see some small red areas that start to merge up that's because right now we're looking at the temperature let's switch over to density which is the same channel over here density and let's give it a 4000 now you're starting to see right go over to our light and it is the sun let's get a little bit down go back and shade this bastard see how it is uh, blackboard intensity let's give it up to 50 It'll be, be, uh, introduce more flamey style and if you want a more uh, darker again you can just bump up the density you have to find a nice balance between those two values and of course play with the lights al around it so you'll get a really nice shading you can also use HDR of course so like you've seen so let's try to get this one down the blackboard intensity and the color attribute change the smoke color in here otherwise you can add in a color attribute that could also be from Embogen if you want that so let's uh, go back here let's get a little darker color here more grayish and white like so and let's get this down there it is so density flames switch between the channels flames to see how it, uh, how it changes and let's actually play with the numbers here as well but uh, the density how light you want it to be or how thick and then the blackboard intensity how is how you want the uh, the colors to be uh, emission wise like if you want it to be lighted up so it's more in terms of uh, a fire smoke explosion then you're gonna play with the blackboard intensity the temperature introduce more uh, color variance in there let's go back to density and bump up this like so and if we lower the intensity again we're getting this mix of them so really cool to play with the guys i would definitely urge uh, you guys to try embogen it's a free trial go in there try it out next time we'll do a houdini uh, and why i say houdini it's because uh, houdini has a houdini apprentice version which is free as in totally free uh, there you can go and also and export free vdbs right remember if you don't want to go in and uh, try out uh, yanka vfx uh, the embogen software they also have free vdb files you can play with download for free and just uh, import them as i showed you in the inside blender that's also a pretty easy fix otherwise just go into google and do a normal search on free vdbs there should be a tons of free uh, vdb files in the on internet especially clouds uh, minor uh, low risk explosions and such you can play with so let me know if you want to see more of this in the comments and i'll definitely hook you up with that but next time i will show you how to export vdbs from houdini and then get them into a blender thank you guys